Hi, I'm Mary Logston. Once again, here I am at your library. The last couple of months at your library, we've been talking about groundbreaking reads and encouraging folks to come into the library and check out books um, for the summer reading. And if you're interested in actually participating in our summer reading program, it's not too late. We will continue to accept entries for the groundbreaking re reads adult summer reading program through August 31st. And your entry may be one um, selected for one of a handful of really generous prizes that have been donated. Um, from different uh, businesses in the community. So I invite you to stop by the information desk if you want more information about groundbreaking reads or if you just want some recommendations for good books to read uh, while you're wrapping up your summer. With summer coming to a close though, we are here at the library starting to think about how we can help folks as they prepare to get back to school. So stick around because I'm going to be sharing some special resources that we have that you can get to right from the comfort of your own home or any computer. So as I told you, we're excited to be able to share with you all kinds of resources to help you and your families get ready for back to school. Um, now that it's August and we're getting closer to um, the reality that school is going to resume here shortly. I invite you to take a look at our Ames Public Library website for those of you who aren't familiar with it. It is um, amespubliclibrary.org on the internet. Once you uh, get to the library's website, this is our home page. As you can see, there's an awful lot going on. What I'm going to share with you today are some of our research um, tools that we have listed together on the research page. So down here on the left-hand side, you're going to choose research, which will bring up a special page that has links to the online databases um, and other resources that the library um, makes available, that most of which require that you enter your library card and PIN. So that's something to remember that when you go to use some of the tools that I'm going to share with you here today, um, there will be a point at which um, you'll be prompted to enter your library card, the seven digit library card number, and your four digit PIN. Um, if you use these uh, resources here in the library, however, it doesn't require you to enter your library card and PIN. But if you're at home, you will need to do that. So what I want to show you is something that's new to the library since the last time I shared some of these online tools with you, and that's Learning Express. Learning Express is available to Ames Public Library um, customers um, through an agreement with the State Library of Iowa that um, we've entered into this year. And Learning Express is just, it's got a wealth of information and um, I think dip no matter what level your student is, or if you are even an adult um, learner, somebody who wants to work on job search and workplace skills, or just beef up your own um, skills for the, for the workplace, um, this, is, this is a tool that would be useful to you. So what I'm just going to show you here is along the left-hand side of the screen, there are learning centers. And what's really wonderful about Learning Express Library is that it does break down the different um, subject matter um, by uh, uh, school category, school group. So for instance, if we click on elementary school, again, it breaks it down further so you can work on math skills or reading skills. I'm going to choose math skills and again it gives you more um, choices if you want to practice in fourth grade math as you can see I've opened that up and it breaks it down into quite a bit more detail any of these um, practice tests that you enter into will give you an idea of the uh, the time the approximate time that it might take to some for somebody to work through it what is really a nice feature about Learning Express is that when you enter into one of these special um, 
test preparation um, uh, modules, for lack of a better word, uh, you have the opportunity to log in. And so it will keep track of where you are in a particular um, um, subject. So as I said, you can work on the fourth grade math practice. You can um, work on multiplication, something real specific, number sense and operations. So you can focus in on really specific math skills that you might be wanting to work on. If we move on to middle school, same thing. Math skills, reading comprehension, social study skills, writing skills. And something else I want to point out, we move on in age group, so high school again breaks down into the different skills area, the different academic areas. There is also college preparation here on Learning Express. A lot of people do come into the Ames Public Library to check out books on preparing to take the PSAT or SAT or ACT or any other standardized test preparation um, that they might require to move into higher education. Um, Learning Express has those um, guides as well and what's nice about this is um, it's available um, to simultaneous users so it's not as if we can only check out one at a time with uh, this kind of online um, uh, resource. So for example, ACD prep ACT preparation, we do have here English, math, etc. So as you can see, there is quite a lot of, um, of information. And if it's not possible for you to come in and use the libraries, check out the library's books. And if you don't want to wait on a hold list, um, keep in mind that you might be able to find the standardized test booklet here on Learning Express. And again, as you're moving up in grades, there is some assistance for um, college students as well to help you with your skill development. One other feature of Learning Express is that there is GED preparation. And as I said, job search and workplace skills. So if you're at a point in your in your um, career where it's time to freshen up your resume or you just want to um, work on some key writing skills, um, critical writing, um, Learning Express might be for you. So when I talk about getting ready for school in September, um, this is not just for school age people. Um, I want folks in the community to be aware that the Learning Express Library is really a tool that will help you um, what, no matter what stage of life you're in, in lifelong learning. Um, so again, Learning Express Library, it's on the library's research page. And one other terrific um, resource that you can link to on the resource page is BrainFuse. Um, and what is nice about BrainFuse, we've talked about it before, it's similar to Learning Express in that there, uh, it opens up a whole um, breadth of um, subject matter once you go there. Um, what is special about BrainFuse is that it has a live tutor component to it. And we, I do know that there are certain folks in the community who've given us positive feedback about the effectiveness of the live help feature of the BrainFuse homework um, help now. Um, database. So uh, this is another one that we hope you will take, uh, take a look at and see if it works with your students' um, success returning to school. So BrainFuse is on the research page as well as Learning Express Library. And again, they're both at Ames Public Library, www.amespubliclibrary.org. Stick around. And what I'm also going to share with you now is just a few of the new items that have been added to the Ames Public Library's collection in the recent weeks.
Well, something else I like to share with you during our At Your Library program is information uh, about what happens at the library that maybe isn't obvious to you. A lot of people in the community have been coming in. We're just delighted that folks are coming into our place here at 620 Lincoln Way um, and enjoying the uh, variety of materials that we have, our computers that are available um, for internet access, um, Literary Grounds is up and running. There is so much that's happening here at the Ames Public Library still. Um, but what you're not seeing when you come to the location here at 620 Lincoln Way is the staff work areas. And if you're curious at all about how it is we're actually getting the work of the library done, um, I think that this might be some very special um, footage for you to, to watch this month. Um, we've got library staff members who are receiving books that we've ordered um, back in another location here at um, Lincoln Center. Um, we are renting another piece of property the former Harrison Sports. Actually, there's a sign outside that says Harrison Sports, so don't be fooled by that. There's also a sign that says Ames Public Library. So this is where our office activities are happening. Um, as I said, we're processing books, we're, we're buying books, um, cataloging books, preparing books for the shelves, labeling, that kind of activity is happening there. Um, library staff members in youth services and information services are um, uh, making selections um, of books to purchase, um, doing preparation for program development. Um, youth services staff are gathering all of the um, many different items that they need for their crafts and activities, which they've been taking on the road this summer out to the various city parks. That um, activity is happening back in the office space. Um, our administrative staff is working there at um, the office and um, some of our outreach staff is there as well. Um, there's just an incredible amount of activity happening and that's just a couple of doors down from where the actual public library um, service area is. So if you need to contact a library staff member um, or have a meeting, um, chances are you're going to be talking with them or seeing them at the other location here at Lincoln Center. What else, the other activity that's happening in a very big way is library staff members are um, working um, diligently to prepare for the move back to 515 Douglas. So all the while that we're continuing to provide services here at the Ames Public Library, temporary location, we're entering into lots and lots of planning sessions to have a smooth and exciting return back to our renovated and renewed library um, sometime next year. So whether you visit us in person or online, this is Mary Logston at your library.